Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday and I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because Sam and Gab Sophie are gone to get hay and they have no idea that I just made arrangements for Sophie's new horse to arrive. So she's getting dropped off. Always we pick up our own horses. They never just get dropped off. I am, I am definitely freaking out. She doesn't know, she doesn't know that she's coming. I cannot wait for you guys to see and meet this horse and figure out I just I can't wait to show her you guys I can't wait to show her she told me wants to do it a special way so I don't know if she'll be in this video but she's coming today I'm gonna take you guys down and show you my new goat in just a couple of minutes but while they're out I wanted to tell you guys it's a surprise day like I love surprising my kids with horses this is gonna be a huge surprise she doesn't know I'm excited I'm freaking out oh no he's so sad oh no Oh, you're so cute. It's okay. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what he can do here. <laughs> Look at this chicken. I feel really bad for him. I'm afraid to put him down. Wait, put a collar on him first. Yeah, let's put a collar on him. Okay, so we put a collar on him. Yeah, we're hoping that he, that Winston, Winston. Yeah, he's little. All right, he's so little. Thank you, Blossom, for being kind to him. He's so cute. He's like a gold with white overlay, a lot of white overlay. And that's what I really wanted. We think Lola will be kind to him. Did she push him? likes babies though. I know. Tilly actually really is so good to babies. Like he's trying to get to her <laughs> her milk and she's letting him. Her hackles are up. But she's not like mean. Anyway, he can't stay out here with the goats all the time because he is eight weeks old now. What a sweet girl Lola is, honestly. We won't ever breed Lola. She's too tiny. Aww. Anyway, you came from somebody that I know, a closed, clean, tested herd. So I brought, just introduced him right away. But for the most part, all of the goats that we have kept are nice goats. Like Winston. Like Winston and like Blossom and like Cricket. They're all so nice. Cricket fell in love. So he is registered, comes from a, a really, really nice line. His lines are exceptional. Some of his lines are actually super except are super exceptional. What I really wanted was to was to introduce some white overlay to our herd. Everybody wants him. Like with a lot of other animals, you can't breed like to like. So the fact that he um so Cricket and Sophie's new goat are both pulled, meaning that they don't grow horns. So I can't breed a, whore, a pulled goat to a pulled goat. Otherwise, you risk the chance of having a hermaphrodite. A hermaphrodite just means that they have both sexes. They have parts of both genders, and then they become infertile. So I had to get a horned goat. So he's horned, and he doesn't have blue eyes, but the two goats that I have to breed him to, because they don't have horns, they both have the blue eyes. So that's why I got him. I wanted the extensive white overlay, but more than anything else, I wanted his genetics he has a super good genetics i believe he's gonna settle in all these girls these are the three that are gonna love him cricket and lola will be kind to him he's really tiny tinier than our goats were everywhere i go there's tinier goats than ours it's gonna be an interesting few days when we bought lola she was noisy, screamed for months. When we bought Cricket, it was so quiet and so well behaved. And it looks like we're back to a Lola kind of goat. <laughs> These two little chickens, they live down here now. This is their home. And he's meeting chickens for the first time. I missed it, I didn't have the camera out, but he was so, so funny. He just was staring at them. He won't even come to me right now because, because he's so scared. It's okay.
what Sophie and I are talking about her new horse. We're gonna get it soon. And um she has dapples. She's so upset. Yes, yeah, she has dapples. She's so upset because I has sold her favorite color. She liked pink first, she says. I did. I like pink since I was born. Me too. <laughs> I'm older than you. No, because my favorite color, well, it wasn't really my favorite, but I just like purple a lot. And then you're like, yeah, purple's my favorite color. No, I hate purple. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even Trust like me, purple at I've all. I've known you since I was born, so don't even. <laughs> so we decided that we don't know when we're gonna get her. So we decided, when are we gonna bring home the horse? Tomorrow. Wait, I just realized I left my pig out here. Come on, you gotta come past the fence. She's gotta go past this door, so I know that she's safe. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. Cleaned up the barn today. Sylvie wants her color to be pink, so we do have an extra pink fly mask. I think the pink buckets are out here, so Sophie wants her to have everything pink. Oh. All right, so there's no pink buckets out here. I have two pink buckets. There's red and purple, and then there's this pink one, but that's too big. I see something pink way down there. I'm gonna go check it out. Honey's like, Mama! She sees me from the You're getting her water already? Yeah. For tomorrow? Yeah. What time tomorrow are we getting her? But I'm not doing it tomorrow when I wanna spend time with her. So she wants to have everything ready. Oh, well. She's gonna use red because we can't find the pink ones yet. So the reason that I haven't told Sam that she's about to arrive is because he ha can't keep secrets. He literally can't keep secrets. He's the worst. So it's better that I just don't tell him. It's an interesting spot to lose her fly mask. I never see the farm from this perspective. I'm never down at the bottom of the hill. It is so super cute. She's not on grass yet either, so it limits where we can put her. Oh my gosh, that horse is almost here. I just got a message. I'm freaking out. Look how cute they look together. Our two bay beauties. I'm gonna go and visit my grandbaby and they're gonna head to uh, TSC and they're gonna go get shavings and buckets for her pink stuff. So bridal wise, your bridles are all cob size, but we have, we have like three that Gabby has. That's what a farm should look like, you guys. <laughs> She's just out there scratching her little butt. <laughs> she doesn't have any issues. Pigs are just itchy. You're really cute, Posey. She loves me. All right, so comment below what you think we should do. We have five regular size bridles. I feel like because we're leasing her, we should use one that we have until we decide. I think you storm go bridle. Yeah, I agree. Who's here? Who's here? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I suck. You suck. <laughs> Doesn't even know. Dad's gonna miss the whole thing. Not even out yet. Oh, here he comes. He sucks. <laughs> into town we are gonna go and see my new grandbaby I'm so excited I am she's my only grandbaby that lives kind of locally because she's really the only one that I can see whenever I want <laughs> and she's brand new and she's so cute and I'm so excited so while well, they drop me off we don't want a lot of people going around her because we don't want her to get sick so they're gonna go and do some running around for the new horse that we're gonna introduce you guys we're gonna introduce her so super soon we're gonna introduce her but Sophie wants to do it in a specific way she wants to post a TikTok or, or short video right here on YouTube she wants to do like something that she specifically wants to do to show you guys so she's gonna do that and then the next video after that we're gonna introduce her and explain everything about her and what breach is and why she's trendy and why I'm excited about her and show her personality. She has been settling in kind of oddly. <laughs> it's not going, I don't think it's going super well. She separated from the horses today, this afternoon, and she sat in, she, she's like Storm, she doesn't like the sun. She hates the sun. I noticed that before we even brought her home. And it, Sam, you noticed that too, didn't you? Yeah, and she, 
spent, so we fed her, we gave her some, even though there's like a big brown bale out there, nobody will go out and eat it because, heaven forbid, it's in the sun. <laughs> so uh, she didn't go out, so we fed her, the, we threw some hay in the, in the barn, and all the horses came in one side, and she was in her side, and they were staring at each other, but she was like this, chewing her hay and looking at them, but what's really funny is that she knows Sophie already, like she understands that Sophie's her girl, or Sophie's important to her, and she doesn't take her eyes off Sophie, Sophie's been noticing this for the last couple of weeks, um, but it's true, like Sophie went in the barn, like in the tack room area, and didn't come back because she's trying like all her different, like she's looking for a bridal for her, like she tried some really funny things, like some really cool things today, I'll show you. I'm kind of excited to go shopping even in our own tack room because we have stuff we don't even use that I've just been saving and that I think will work for her. But anyways, Sophie went in there and didn't come back out. And so she left the barn and went outside thinking that she was gonna see Sophie outside. And then she came back in when she didn't see Sophie. Anyway, she's adorable. She seems assertive where she did not seem assertive before. But it's just because she's stressed out because she's there's like five horses there and she doesn't know any of them. Five? Five, yeah. So anyways, it's been like fun. We've just been sitting in the barn all afternoon watching her and watching them and Penny seems the most relaxed. Storm seems a little relaxed. Uh, Honey loves her and Gracie doesn't. So anyways, Willow is, doesn't care about her. So I think Willow's the one that's gonna have to be her first friend. We are at PB Mart and we found this big structure, but look all the, the chicks are in here so they don't get out of the fencing. Do not enter. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for chicks. Eleven dollars for chicks. Thinking we should get these owls. It's a natural scarecrow. That would scare the pigeons out of the barn and probably the hawks in the area maybe. Who knows? We are looking for buckets and I don't see no buckets. Oh there's some over there at the end. These ones. Dark pink, purple, purple, blue. How ah, about those? All those are they the same size? Not a big one. They're a bit too small. Oh, look at that! They have a a calf balaclava for goats. That would work for. Would that work? Oh, that it defeats the purpose. It doesn't stop the bugs from going in your eyes. So I don't know what they're for, but anyway. What color you want? Purple. We'll just get another pink one. I mean, Penny's got a pink one. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that? No, they're all the same color. All right. And your mom wants small buckets like this. And we need to get a couple of these. 20 bucks for this plastic thing that'll break, or 10 bucks for one of these things that don't break. Man, I could tell you what the better deal is already. Look at that, they got a calf warmer. I wonder if it's good for... Ooh, cool. It's got a heater and everything. We're gonna need some fans soon in the barn because it's getting really hot. Oh, look, they got... They got uh, goat mini blocks. Sophie. Goat mini blocks. They got goat mini blocks. Looking for horse treats. Oh, there we go. Horse cookies. Bug spray. No one wants to buy the bug spray. This is 24. That's 24 bucks. And that's $8. What do you think? Uh, we're, I thought we were going to the tax store tomorrow. So we should get the horse treats there. Have you ever had that feeling where like everything's going great and then suddenly you're just exhausted? She's suddenly so I'm exhausted. <laughs> that horse is like, what the heck with the goats? All my plants are, well, some of these plants are all coming up. You see them? Stomp on them. See them all in a row there? And then there's some weeds in the middle, but I'll get them. He's like, she is looking at is you. She's looking at the goat. She's looking at Sophie. She's like, what the heck world did I just enter? She looks so big. She's our tallest horse. Yeah. As the tallest, youngest, and oldest horse. Too. Tallest, youngest, oldest. 
What we ended up doing with that baby is separating them. We put them away. Whew, the bugs are bad. Hi, Cricket. She's my, oops. <laughs> She's one of my favorite little goats. <laughs> He's just screaming. So see all this grain on the ground this morning? You should, I'm, tomorrow I should film what happens when I milk Tilly. She gets so furious. She's, she's just fuming mad. She grabs the thing with the grain in it and shakes it with her teeth and then throws it. She's, she's mean. She gets mad. There he is. <laughs> oh, we never told him his name. Oh, wow. Or great, I had him. Sophie named him. Look, he's got a heart on his back. A lot of our animals have hearts. That's not a heart. That's a no. It is a heart. It's a cat. It's not a cat. With two little ears and a face. Anyway, this is his annoying sound. He's annoying. She said he's friendly, but he's not friendly. I caught him today. I caught him today. I caught him today, and I was holding on to him. And then suddenly, he <laughs> jumped out of my arms and was wild. Like he did a ninja move out of my arms, almost killed me. I hope he settles though. We have to put a, a friend in with him, but it's hard. We have two little boys, so well, I don't want to put two in with him. Today we put Winston in there with him. He was so excited to have Winston in there, but I watched Winston and Winston with his horns threw him up against the wall and pinned him there. So, all right, so we don't know what we're gonna do. I feel really sad for this goat. He's absolutely feral. Like, I don't know, we've bought and sold goats. None of them have ever been like this. Like, this thing is, is feral. Like, I don't know if he's ever been held or touched. He's as terrified of us as he is the other goats, but he wants to be with the other goats. And he settles with me in here too. But I can't try and pick him up. If I try and pick him up, oh my gosh, he's wild. So we're gonna try and put Winston in here. We tried Cricket with him because, whoa, what happens? watch. Essentially, we put Cricket in here and then she jumped the wall and said, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I can't put two goats in here with him because then it's the gang effect. Yeah, but that was a crazy spot. I have a feeling Winston's going to jump the wall. Winston might be happy that his friend is here. See, you can be quiet and calm. You just have to be a nice boy. That's how you make friends. You don't make friends screaming your head off. I mean... Winston, be nice. All right. This seems to be the winning combination so far. They want out. He just wants somebody to be with him. He, they're going to all be together anyways during the day for now while he grows up a bit. So does my new boy have dangles? No. But he not one does. All right, let's go. Anyway, it's not, it's not as bad as it could be. Good night, little boy. This is your new home. I hope you feel happy soon. <laughs> it literally just felt like a crazy day. It's so weird to come out here and see that horse. She's just standing up. She's so tall compared to our other horses. And I think even when Chino was like taller, but he always had his head down. Anyway, I pray that that baby settles because holy moly, I've never had such a feral goat before. I've been like complaining all this time about how our girls were shy and not super friendly, but none of them have ever been as bad as him. Like, I mean, Lola, Lola screamed, screamed but, but she was really good with us. Don't you know that you're